Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here on the Hagenstead map. Let's get back to reliving the glory days. Now I'm going up a slight incline. I can't even keep up the combine. There we go. We can do it. Just. Only just, though. It's not the easiest thing to keep up with. I love the golden color of the corn. The golden corn is absolutely fantastic. So we'll bring that in through there. This is how you do it. There, professionally done, isn't it? Driving down across the fields, right in the middle of the crop. That's how everybody does this, isn't it? Isn't, isn't this how everybody does it? I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm absolutely sure that it is. Just back up a little bit so I can catch the rest of that. And no, I'm not going to drive down to the bottom because by the time I get there, that combine will have already been full, and then I'll have to climb back up the hills with the really full trailers and that's going to take far longer than if I just run over here now, dump this out to sell it and then run back and go and um, empty out the combine fresh. So we'll do it this way around. Let's go up there like that. I need a bigger tractor. That's what That's what we need. We need, we need a bigger tractor. We need something with a little bit more oomph under the hood. Bring you right in there like that with two trailers. Start tipping that one and start tipping that one. I'm camera's drifting around because the tractor was raised up in the air again. Help F has full grain tank. Sell that in there and there we go. We are up to 59,000 euros. We didn't even have a full trailer load off that. We're getting 1,500 per thousand litres of grain coming off of here. So, despite the fact that corn is the lowest paying of all of the crops, if you're just selling it, if you're turning it into silage, then it's not. All right? it's, it's quite valuable as silage. But if you're just harvesting and selling the grains, corn is the lowest value of all of them. You still get a reasonable amount of money from it. All right? if, you, if the price is right, you still get quite a reasonable amount of cash coming in. Now that's saying 25% right here. Just wondering if I should... You know I am going to... I'm going to chase that one along the field again. And I'm going to empty out a little bit. So that he's got a bit longer. Uh, before we have to worry about emptying him out again. So I'll chase him all the way down to the end of the field here. And then we'll run down to the other one. And we can start emptying that one out as well. And keep that moving and if I can get just a couple of minutes in between desperately rushing between combines trying to keep them empty uh, I will be able to get started on the potato harvest and uh, not potato harvest the potato planting you know I'm gonna have to just go straight across here um, in the very smallest field we've got to cultivate it first we're not going to worry about plowing. Plowing, we, we don't care about that. We'll just run over it with the cultivators. So we need to get a tractor onto a cultivator and get that one started down there. But we've got to find the time to be able to do it. Because, quite frankly, that's going to be the challenge on all of this. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drive in under there and empty this one down to the required 80%. And then I'm going to come out from under here, like that, and then I'll just chase alongside this combine all the way down to the end of the field, taking out as much as we can. So he's going to go up there, he's going to turn round. While he turns round, I'm going to go to this one, and I'm going to go and get the cultivator hitched on, even if I can't do anything else, just for a second. Well, I'm waiting for that combine to turn around. I'm watching the number. And that nut no, is... He's getting lined up there. I'm going to start this cultivating. And there he's into the crop. So I need to get back over to this tractor. Start emptying out. I'd like to keep that combine moving. That was kind of the aim here. So I've got to get to him. And I've got to get that spout out. Ah, uh, we should be able to do that. It's going to be a bit tight. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's going to be fine, actually. Yeah. Ni 93, yeah, we're absolutely fine with that. So the one up the top field, he's on 35% right now. He's rapidly filling his tank as well. 
This is this is why this is such a challenge. It's because of how fast they fill the tank. It's it's not how much grain they've got in a tank. It's the percentage of the tank. It's that these Nova 330s. This I've know I've been complaining about this for a while. Is that they do have such small grain tanks. It's a real nuisance. It is an absolute jolly nuisance, and it's not something that we're going to easily be able to overcome unless we swap out the combines. And I've had people suggesting, oh, well, yeah, I should do that. I should just buy a bigger combine, have one big combine rather than these two smaller ones. Yes, we have one. We looked at that last week, was it? Week before. And yeah, that, you know, it's a good idea. And we will be doing that. Pretty sure I'm going to go for that option. I'm going to get a big combine upgrade. And... It's going to be just that big combine, at least to start with. Uh, one big combine that's got at least... Well, it's, it's going to need to be more than double the grain tank capacity. So really what I'm looking at is one of the, the really big combines. right? Going straight in with one of the biggest ones. Rather than any more intermediate steps, just going straight in at the top with one of the big massive Agco beasties. And running one of those on its own for a minute... And then kind of moving on from there. Uh, but I was also wondering whether I should go for cattle first. Right now, I'm kind of thinking, no, the combine would be the better option. Because that way we can, like, keep moving with getting the other bits done as well. Uh, we have one combine going. And while we wait for that one to fill up, we can be working on the other bits that we need to do. We can get, like, the, the planting started and things like that. Um, it would potentially make a bit of a difference uh you can just sit there for a minute not do anything which means that i can take this one get it unfolded and start working on here now this is the difficult one this one right here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to back this one right into the corner over here like this there without backing right into the wall and I'm going to lower it down I did back into the wall after all that I'm going to lower it down there, I'm just going to do a little bit that was terrible driving didn't straighten up into the corner like I should have done Come out like that and then I'll bring it up over this way and I'm going to pull that up there, like that. I'm not going to do any more than that for a second. I'm then going to back round here. Spin tight like that. It's possibly a little bit too tight, but it's, it's all right. And I'm going to go there and then put that down. And I'm going to go along here. And then what I'm going to do, once I've done this little bit here, I'm hoping that there will be enough room around the edge of this field for the hired help to take over and do the rest of the work. And this can be the AI vehicle extension doing this. I'm going to put that one going on there, and I'm just going to try it. All right, this could end up being a complete and total disaster, but at least it's doing something, right? It's making a little bit of effort. It's giving it a go. It's trying it out just to see if it can actually do something. And as far as I'm concerned, that's all we really need. So what I will do here is I'll take the half tank off this one, and then we'll run back down to the combine. It will be full by the time we get down there. So we've got a half tank right here. Take you off there, and then we can go and empty out the one right down the bottom. So there, take that bit out there. You haven't got a lot left on this field. The really narrow header is probably not helping anything, is it? But again, it's... Yeah, it... it despite having the two combines, it's still a little bit slow, isn't it? But I don't have the full... I don't have the 50 thousand euros that we would need in order to be able to really make a difference um the 50 did i say fifty thousand five hundred thousand half a million euros in order to get the big combine it's, it's the big combine that i want to get that's the one that i'm after um like intermediates i mean maybe we should go for an intermediate i don't know 
At, at this stage, I, I am not really sure. I'm like, I haven't really made up my mind either way on that. I'm, I'm very much I'm in an iron over what I should do and how I should do it with the combines. It's not something that I need to worry about just for a minute. We've got this that we're doing and then we're going to be selling. So we can run these combines that we got right now. Then we're going to be doing potatoes and we're going to be selling that straight off the field. We're not planning to store potatoes at all. So there's potentially a lot of money to come in um, with the selling the potatoes. Hopefully we can get a decent price on them. Um, we've got to remember, though, that we're going to be leasing everything that we're harvesting the potatoes with, and that is going to eat into that money a bit. But it also means that we will have a few days of time will tick on by, and, of course, we know that that means that we'll get plenty of euros coming in from our solar panel farm that we've got over there. Um, you may have told me by that point... Go for a 10 panel farm. We don't want you to just have a single, uh, just five solar panels. We want you to have 10 solar panels. And thus, it, it's one of those instances where I genuinely don't know how you're going to tell me to do it. Right? And I'm, I'm really quite happy either way on that particular instance. Um, like, I... I can quite often tell which way a vote is going to go. I'll ask something and I'm already 90% certain of what people are going to say. But very occasionally I've got no clue. I've got absolutely no idea who's going to ask for what. And other times I am genuinely thrown. Although these days that does happen less. I'm, I'm getting better at sort of gauging what people actually want me to do. Uh, you've gotten tangled up here somehow. How did you get tangled up? I think you were trying to do something up here that you shouldn't have done. Or maybe you were trying to drive down the side of the field. Maybe oh, no. He, he, he went down there. He did that bit all right. But then he reversed back. And he reversed all the way back to the top end of the field. And then got confused and didn't like it. So now we will let the hired help drive down the field here and it's this corner boom well he smashed into the wall he was quite happy to go and do that what about the rest of it is he going to be able to turn around here without causing us does look like he's going to be fine all right well we'll leave you to it you are absolutely fine because i need to skedaddle on up to the top field a minute and go and take that out we won't be able to get there before he stops moving but we will be able to get there in a reasonable amount of time, I think. This time, just for once. And then we're going to be getting pretty close to another load of grain that we're going to want to go. I'll probably end up coming back down to the bottom and then we'll have a slow crawl back up this hill to go and sell the next double trailer load of grain. See, it is a slow old crawl, isn't it? We need, we need more horsepower. We definitely need a bit more. I mean, this is better than the other two tractors, admittedly, right? This is an improvement on the other two tractors, but we still need more horses. We need more horses to be able to play with. We go over and get... Yeah, you're going to stop now, aren't you? There, he's slowing right down. Slowing down more. And still slowing. Still going slow. So he goes really, really slow for that last bit. And there he has stopped. But that means that you don't go getting a bit that's been sort of just left. You, you don't get, like, stripes missed in the crop, which is brilliant. That's that's a, a really, really good thing. All right, we want that. 90, 80. All right, let's start moving. And all I need to do is a loop out round like that and then straight back in. That spout comes back out and I can empty the rest out into this trailer. Just like that. So I got 70% in the one down the bottom. And this one's on 70 some odd percent up here. So I'm just going to sit on the end of the field with this one. And let that empty out into here. And then we will race straight down to the bottom. Get that one. And then we'll be able to come back up here. And get yet more grain from this one up here. Let's go and fill the very front of the trailer right there. See how quick that fill? I love that. Right, it's just that. 
Little detail, the way they're filling up like that. That's so cool. It's such a minor thing. And it wasn't... Like, it, it, it wasn't, like, a massive, massive game-changing thing. But at the same time, it's... When I first noticed it, it was just like, oh, wow. That is absolutely amazing. It's the sort of thing that you don't really, you know, yeah, it would have been nice. And I had looked at it before and thought, yeah, it'd be pretty cool if that was, like, a little bit of a feature here somewhere. Um, but it wasn't quite a feature. And, yeah, you know, it, it, it's certainly not the end of the world. Um, Helper F is blocked by an object. that have gone and slid into the combine, uh, which means that he's not going to keep going. So i got to get it to 80% before he will keep going. Now he'll keep going. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let him now run to the end of the field so that I'm not driving on the crop to unload every single load. And then we will chase him back up across that way to do the rest of it. Right, I'm just starting everything up again, which is why that combine has gone racing off way on ahead further than I wanted him to, and has now stopped. Um, so I have now got the feedback about the solar panels. And for the most part, you don't want me to be having extra solar panels beyond the five. However, there was one suggestion that got quite a lot of likes, actually, and uh, several other people said that they thought that this was a particularly good idea. Um, mostly, you didn't want me to just sort of pile up on solar panels because it would take out any challenge from the rest of it. Some of you wanted me to actually work on upgrading machinery and so on, so definitely stop at the five. Um, but the one suggestion that someone made that actually several of you said this is a really good idea I really like this we should you know he should, he should do that instead is the um, we limit our solar panels to one per field that we own so when we buy more fields then at the same time we are allowed to buy an extra solar panel now if you take a look at the actual map on here there are a total of 42 fields on this map so we could in theory if we follow this rule end up with 42 solar panels now at the moment we cannot count that field there it's just a little tiny bit so we've only got four fields and if we very quick i should tell you what let me turn this one round we're going to go up to the top and we're going to unload that combine up there and if i remember correctly we were in we're selling this corn straight to the grain mill aren't we uh are we wait a minute stop 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 easy there tiger transport company a uh, ranch one no no wait yeah, central grain elevator 1,400. Yes, I am. I'm selling it straight to there. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not focusing on what I'm doing here. I need to concentrate a little bit more. Um, so, yeah, we've got four fields at the moment. I don't remember if I've actually bought the fifth solar panel yet or not. Um... But we can very quickly have a look at that. We can go into here. We can go to miscellaneous. It's not on. Yes, it is under miscellaneous. And we can whiz through here. And it's that one. I've got five of those. So I won't sell the uh, fifth one because it's going to, like, just cause us to lose a load of money on it. But what I will do is I really like this idea and from the comments and the replies to that suggestion, several others of you really liked it as well. So I'm going to try and do, that's what I'm going to sort of focus on. That's what I'm going to go for. So when we buy one more field, uh, we will then have solar panels equal fields. And then after that, we will start adding more into... Um, like every time we buy a field, we will allow ourselves one more solar panel. And I love this idea. I think it's a brilliant idea. This is absolutely fantastic. So the, we're going to try this. We, we're going to see if we can make this one work. And so long as it does actually work, 
Um, yeah, we'll just keep adding solar panels. And I think we will add them there where we've got them at the moment. As someone else said that there is a mod that you can get that allows you to remove objects from a map. Now, I don't know how that works, and I don't know how well that would work for us here on this map. But that's definitely quite a good idea, because if we go in here a minute and we go to actual landscaping, if we look down over here... Right, we've got, like, there's a couple of stones right there, which are objects which are going to cause us a bit of a problem. We've got a few more stones right here. Again, these are placeable objects that we can't remove with the normal editing techniques. Um, so this mod that removes objects from the map could be a viable alternative. And then, like, if we could move the stones out, we could even enlarge the field. But what I was actually thinking is... Don't enlarge that field. I possibly would use this bit up here for potato storage later on. And we'll put down a load of solar panels here. But then we could also use this area here. Rather than using that for a, um, a lorry park or anything like that, we can do our lorry parking up over here. And this can be our solar panel field. You know, if we, we got 42 fields on this map. If we're going to build up to 42 solar panels, right, i got 36,000 litres. I'm going to take this straight to the grain mill now and sell it. If we've got 42 fields to buy and we end up with 42 solar panels, we're going to need a fair bit of space to put them. And so we've got to find the right... And I think that could end up being the right place. So I don't know about the object removal. I don't know if I'll try that one or not. Um, but I was told that that one is an option. But I really like this idea of one solar panel per field. It does seem like a nice balance. And a lot of you seem to think that it was a nice balance as well. So we'll aim for that. Um, not very many of you like the idea of me just going and buying a whole load more panels than the five that we've already got. Um, it, you know, you, you sort of seem to think that it was going to be a little bit too excessive and... Um, Kind of defeat the object of what we're trying to do here. And yeah, I agree. It, it, it is potentially too excessive. It, it is potentially too much. So we'll leave it and we'll work on this idea. There's another 51,000 euros harvest income coming in. Ever so nice. That's going to go a long way towards our equipment for planting potatoes. Which is going to be fantastic, because that is our very next crop. Um, yeah, I, I, I like this. I, I really do. I like this idea a lot. Um, I think our next target for upgrade, well, for, for really for doing anything, is going to be... Is that What's that combine doing? That one's on 56%. We can ignore that combine, and we can run straight down to the one in the bottom field get that one unloaded um yeah we've got um the potatoes coming up we may before we finish this harvest end up with enough money to go and buy another field so we'll have our five fields to match our five solar panels i kind of would like to upgrade the combines however we're gonna upgrade the combines whether it's we sell both and we buy one bigger combine or we have two bigger combines than what we've got right now i uh, still i kind of like the idea of just having one bigger combine for a minute and then once we've gone a little bit further with that then turn around and go and have a, a second bigger combine i i think that could work out fairly well for us right that is at 80 percent the problem with this is that i can sit there all day and nobody's gonna move anywhere so I need to move out of range of that. It's the only bit that I don't like about hired help with the combines is once the hired help stops, it ain't going anywhere. It's it's decide that's it. It's game over for that combine, and he ain't gonna do a thing. So I'll let that one turn round, and I'll get that one unloaded, and then the other one we can bring that one down. It's gonna be up this end, 
And we can get it just doing a few passes along that top end of the field there to get that ready. And then it can start working on that one. We've got a nice big field here. This one's ready to roll pretty much. Let's bring you in here. So the next field that I wanted to buy is the long one up there. I did consider purchasing the field out the road out that way. Um, and yeah, that one's, I mean, that, that, both of those options have got potential, like, uh, we, we, we could go either way. If we go for the one at the top, it's currently got potatoes planted in it, which means that we'd have to do something with them or just cultivate them in. Um, if we do decide to go for that, it might be better if we, I mean, we could lease one harvester now and then we can harvest that field of potatoes and then immediately plant more potatoes in it because that's what we'd end up doing i mean potatoes are next just depends what what what, sit, what the situation is once we finish this harvest so let's leave you and we go and get this one up here and have a look at the cost of land that's 153,000. we only need another 40 grand and we can afford to buy another field that one over there is 176,000. So that, again, is a very distinct possibility. You've got the little bit to travel along a road, but it's not too much. Or we could look seriously at the whole combine upgrade, which I know I've looked at this several times. But I'm still looking at it and I'm still sort of thinking this isn't going to be a bad idea. A number of you actually said you'd prefer to see me rather than going for the MF Act Activa over here, which is, you know, it's a nice combine and all, but it's kind of double what we've got right now. So it's not going to make a big lot of difference. Whereas something like that one, there's not a lot between the, com the John Deere and the Russell Mash and number of you said it would be quite nice to upgrade the Russell Mash to a bigger Russell Mash. And yeah, I, I kind of like that idea. So I'll most likely want to go for that one. But I don't know if we can get enough money back from our crop and selling both of these combines to be able to afford that combine and the necessary headers and stuff and we're getting a big lag spike right there because this tractor over here is just about finished what he's doing and is getting a little bit confused because he's still using the AI vehicle extension and that's just sort of part of the course that's standard that's what we'd expect let's grab that little bit over there and I tell you what, I'll do that in a minute. You keep going there. You go here. We want to bring that out, and I can unload that 70% into the... I thought he was up the other end, but he wasn't, surprisingly. Wait a minute, was he... Have I just driven this all the way... I did, I just drove it all the way across the field, didn't I? Pretty sure I did. Oh, well, not that it really matters. Right, um, I'll put you in here. I'll do a couple passes along this bottom end, then. It's really going to make much difference. Which one? Which end we go for, really? It's, it's still still going to be happening. Okay, while you unload there, let me go here and just quickly run up through that bit. Like that. Finish off this field right here. And I don't know where they're going to start. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. And for those of you wondering, the paid promotion notification that came up at the beginning of the video is because in the description down below, you will find a link to Fanatical. I have an affiliation with them. If you use that link, I will earn a small commission on anything that you choose to purchase. But that is all we have got time for. So if you have enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.